Hello and welcome to Thought for September the 27th. Our readings today are taken from 1 Chronicles chapter 10, Ezekiel chapter 23 and Luke chapter 20. And our thought is, those who deny. We have three chapters today that teach valuable lessons. In 1 Chronicles chapter 10, it tells us that Saul died for his breach of faith. He broke faith with the Lord, it says in verse 13. In not keeping his commandments, a lesson for all those who have committed themselves to serve the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, says Ezekiel chapter 23 and verse 1, and then he receives a parable that pictures God's disgust at the spiritual adultery of the nation. The Lord says to them, Because you have forgotten me and cast me behind your back, you yourself must bear the consequences. Verse 35. And what consequences does today's world face for doing this? In our chapter in Luke chapter 20, we see how there came to him, that is Jesus, those who deny that there is a resurrection in verse 27. As yet another example of those who believe what they want to believe and serve God on their own terms as Saul and nearly all the people in Ezekiel's day had done. We note how Jesus responded to these deniers with a declaration of what is true. He said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, for they cannot die any more, because they are equal to the angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. Verse 36. Jesus then says in verse 37 that even the writings of Moses showed this in the passage about the burning bush, where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God was not proclaiming himself to be the God of the dead who have gone into oblivion forever. God transcends time. He is from everlasting to everlasting. The prayer or the psalm of Moses states this. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Psalm 90 verse 2. Oh, how incredible is the wonder of knowing and having a real everlasting relationship with God. Saul failed. The people of Israel's time failed. The Sadducees failed. It seems nearly everyone today is failing. Make sure you do not fail. Feeding your mind with God's word every day is an essential ingredient. Well, thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day and opening the pages of God's word together, remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.